here. I start circling towards the head. He's framing well, okay? And I'm having a hard time stopping this leg down. Maybe I try to stop it and he's keeping his knee high. So I'm kind of stuck in this space here. Okay, my next option would be here. Okay, this is what I call the eagle claw, right? Where normally when you grab, you grab here. Where your thumb is in front of the shin, it feels natural to grab this way. The only problem is it's very easy to break. You can turn your thumb. If I told you to break this grip right now, go ahead. He just kicks forward, that's easy. Break this grip. My thumb is in the back. There's nothing about him that wants to do this. Kick himself in the butt, right? So it makes the grip very hard to break. The other thing is if he did kick himself so hard, he just opened his bar for you. So there's two reasons he won't want to do that. So again, I'm here, I'm going this way, I get stuck. You see where I find this, boom. Just grabbing, thumb on the back. Once I have this, now I can stretch that leg out, okay? Which makes it, again, hard for him to retain his guard here. And now I'm gonna go heavy, looking for a cross face. So it depends a bit, yeah. You can see I can get my chest sunk in. Now the other benefit of this is that I can lift it up. Okay, so right here, right now, this guard is pointing into me. Okay. Well, if you watch, I, by turning that leg out, I point this guard up. And I'm on the side, so I'm going to be able to pass three. Okay? So again, here, boom. Hmm. Look at this way, I'm trying to stop, I can't find that leg. Cross face, okay? If I could grab the wrist, I could also grab the wrist. So that's all there is to it. It's very straightforward. Nothing fancy. Coming this way, just catch here. Again, my grip, when I'm doing big open hand grips, I try to focus on this. Middle finger, your thumb. Okay? This is gonna get the most activation out of your hand. Let's say I'm doing this. Where the okay sign, but these three fingers are weak. When you come here, you see you get the right side of your hand in play. This is gonna make your grip strong. And the other thing, I tend to pin. I'm not just holding it, I'm pushing it to the ground. Okay, so like I'm stapling it to the ground so it can't move anywhere. And then I use my body movement to work around his body. Okay? So I'm here, boom. Move, 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 move. And sometimes just like this, I get it this deep, riding really high. And this, yeah, I start lifting up. Sometimes I'll even catch the wrist here if he's giving me a lot of resistance. Cut his knees in, everything. Now I'm like grabbing his wrist, I turn his shoulders away. Questions? Alright, three. Ready? One, two, three. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be alerted when the next video drops. Now, if you want to get more videos like this on a daily basis, go and visit my membership site at ffacoach.com. We have online video curriculums, our daily videos, and you can get bonus courses like the Kimura Trap System for free when you enroll today. So go ahead and help support the channel and visit today.